Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Chiptastic and this is by Ronco and basically it's a tray that you put in slices of potato or even apples and other um, maybe root vegetables or other vegetables or fruit and you can dehydrate them in the microwave. So let me demonstrate what comes in the box. It comes with this round holder and just so you have a reference this is at almost 12 inch in length so make sure that your microwave can hold this width of uh, device in it plus take a little more because some the, the bigger chips will stick out so make sure that did you have a little spare space on, on, on the sides so in the bag it comes with a little manual that uh, gives you uh, an idea of uh, what to do with it, recommended running times, as you can see, potatoes, sweet potatoes, apples, pears, mangoes. But um, it also gives you some recipes. Inside there's also a little mandolin, which I found that I did not like because it wasn't sharp enough. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use my trusty Kyocera slicer but it also comes with the with the finger guard uh, un unfortunately yeah, it like this. unfortunately it just it's not sharp enough so it's very hard to slice potatoes so just like with knives when 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 a knife is not sharp enough it's it makes it kind of dangerous to to cut so uh, let me start by uh, using some sweet potatoes and I'm going to set this on 1.3 millimeters and I'm going to start cutting. Now they do recommend drying them but I noticed because of the way this is shaped and the way you're putting the chips in, water drips down. It, I did find that drying them makes, uh, makes them a little crispier and faster to do it in the microwave. And somebody here on the side is gonna dry them up. Yes. All right. And I'm gonna make some slices of regular russet potato. I would recommend the russet potatoes to, you see how wet it is, to really dry, dry them out on a piece of paper towel. Let's put this right here and uh, we're going to dry it. Tap it in, tap it in. As you can see, the russet potatoes have a lot of moisture in them. And it really does help drying them up. So let's move this here and we can stack them up. And the way you do it, you could either fold them like this, or you could fold them like this. And the nice thing about it, if you could tell, is that it has these little notches. See the notch? So when you put it in, it sticks there, which is pretty neat, I think. I like to alternate between them, not put them right next to each other. There's a, a decent amount of chips that you can make in one round. So that's also one thing I like about this unit. All right, so now that we have it uh, almost full, it's okay like this. I'm gonna put it in the microwave and we'll come back and I'll show you the results. I'm gonna put it for about three minutes to, to three and a half minutes. At three minutes, I'm gonna look at it and make sure that they're crispy. All right, so the one thing I also wanted to show you is how much water and condensation you get in the microwave. I'm not sure this is that great for the microwave, you know? But um, this is the end product. As you can see, we got some nice. Uh -huh. I like the sweet potato best. They, um, they really do taste nice. This is how the russet came out. And again, you can put it a little more or a little less depending on the microwave. 
And it too, they do test, taste very nice. So I'm gonna show you the back of the packaging. I think this packaging actually makes for a great present. It's a very nicely um, designed uh, box. What can I say? A nice box makes for a good present. But the product also works and delivers besides for the mandolin. It's kind of cheaply made, but I don't think you can expect much for the price. All right, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time.